They say this is a big rich town. Yeah, I just come from the poorest part. Bright life, silly life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Yeah, I just happen to come up hard. Legal or illegal, baby. I got, I never took a straight path nowhere. Pits and turns, bumps and bruises, I live, I learn. I'm the beauty of the I'm the dang bomb bounce. Do the ball of the rap, learn the rap in the back. Fuck the man in the meantime, go ahead and pop a pack. You're my inspiration, you're my motivation. You're the reason I'm the dream, the dream, the dream. This is a big bitch town. Yeah, I just come from the poorest part. Bright light, city light, I gotta make it, this is where it goes down. Yeah, I just happen to come up home. Legal or illegal, baby, I gotta make it. If you can't tell, I really like power. The show, not like power... Like Cersei kind of power. Nah, not that. Nah. So I just watched episode 6 of Power. And you know what I realized? I review these things like this. Movies, television. And I'm like, why don't I review something that I just watch all the time? So I'm going to start off with no spoilers for this review about Power. So this might be the biggest episode that I've that they've ever had. I feel like you either really hate this episode or you're really gonna love this episode. There's a twist that happens at the end of this episode that is if you've been watching Power since day one, you don't see this coming. Unless for some reason you're just like, you know what? There's no way that there's no way that this is gonna go through. So they gotta think of some kind of way to get out of it. So that twist to me is what defines this episode. We also have a side story with Tommy who's in Chicago and he's doing his thing over there. We also find out when Tasha made that phone call who it was to. I mean it was obvious who it was to but they had to give us a little bit more clarification. I don't fully know what he wants Ghost to do. We also get a definitive, a definitive ending of this episode that almost felt like it could have been a season finale because I don't know where they're going to go from here. There's, n there's, I have no idea where they're going to go from here. And honestly, I don't know if I could talk about this episode enough without getting into spoilers. So, hey, coming. I'm going to say you should probably skip to this part of the review if you don't want any spoilers for this episode. If you haven't watched it, are you ready? Three, two, one. All right. So Ghost is out. Ghost is out. Man. Feels so good to see Ghost back in like a suit and everything. I gotta say, everybody's lining is on point in this episode. Like, I want I want the barber on set of power because everybody fades and linings is on point. But that's besides the point. So we see Ghost and he is trying to reconcile and rebuild his family because he realizes that Finally, he realizes that Angela was bad for him. And now he wants to rebuild his relationship with Tasha. Tasha has every right to be like this. She was being cheated on for I don't know how long. He left his family. And now that he found out that that bitch ain't shit, now he can come back. Can't just come back like that ghost. As much as I love ghosts, come on, man. Oh, I cannot remember the evil white guy. We're just going to call him Evil White Guy for right now. Evil Rich White Guy wants Ghost to do something. It turns out to be real estate. I don't fully know what that could mean, but we'll find out in another episode. Tariq is the dumbest fucking kid ever. 16, 17, 15, whatever. He is an idiot. What, what are you just... <laughs> you don't feel kidnapped? Sure, she gave me she gave me a controller and some and some video games. I just sitting here been playing video games all day. Has he been fed? I don't know. I'm just he's just sitting there playing video games with 
with dashiki with the braids jukebox that's a name jukebox tommy is out there in chicago and they're telling him you ain't fucking with ghosts no more He's almost about to get killed because he killed Mulan, and I'm guessing he probably didn't tell anybody that he was going to do it. He ends up being able to pin it on the other guy. There's, there's like him and Julio look, they don't look alike, but they have very similar faces. Speaking of Julio, oh God, that's so sad. These streets is hard, y'all. These streets is hard. Ghost paid his freedom, paid for his freedom. Ghost paid for his freedom out of this Locos gang or whatever. And now that Ghost is out of the game, that means he is op it's open season on him. And I just want to point something out. Internet power fans. Everybody be talking about how they don't like Tariq and Angela's a bitch and all this. Dre, meanwhile, is screwing over everybody. Dre is screwing over everybody. Stop talking about Tariq's dumb ass and Angela's misguided ass. And look at Dre. Dre is screwing over everybody. He's like, oh, God, Dre, 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 Dre. But he's so charismatic and cool. And, uh. No, fuck Dre. Dre plans Julio's hit with the locals gang and is oh he goes down swinging for a second i thought julio might get away but after that slit on the leg it was done but he went out like a g for real he was he kept swinging he there was he was not gonna go down without a fight his character was not gonna go down without a fight and i like that i like that that was that made his death even more powerful that's probably the best side character death i've seen in a while that I actually cared about. Take notes, Walking Dead. Who said that? Who said that? And then what might be seen as a random act, Tommy goes and kills the uncle or whatever that used to rape Holly. And it's one of those things that like, you could say it's random, but the way that his, he, he, his life flashed before his eyes when he was going to possibly be killed, she was the first thing that she thought of. And I guess as a way to redeem his soul to just feel a little bit better he goes and kills the guy who was raping her when she was a child i guess that was one of the secret things that he told that she told him while she was with him at some point when they had a meaningful conversation but yeah that's that happened okay let's get to that y'all know what i'm talking about that oh Kanan. Ghost finds out that Kanan is still alive. This is huge, y'all. This is not a small thing. He has thought that he's thought that Kanan was dead since the end of season two. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Finally, they meet face to face again. And I can tell by li listening to 50 Cent's voice when he was like when he was like talking to him, it wasn't the, the usual Kanan. You know, can't, that cold-blooded Kenny, you know, put, put your motherfucking hands up. Now get in the motherfucking car. He was a little bit more, you know, I want your ass to get in the motherfucking car. Like, <laughs> like twitching a little bit, like, I don't want to do this. I guess that's 50 Cent acting, whatever. They steal Tommy's money. They steal from Tommy's stash. Ghosts will fuck over anybody Whatever it takes, and sadly, somebody has to die. It's Kanan. Come on now. Kanan light killing niggas. But he he had to die. He didn't reach for his gun. But he probably would have got his ass killed anyway for, <laughs> for giving away the money. So, eh. Then comes the moment where Kanan has his gun pointed at Ghost, and he gives him the gun. And then Ghost points the gun at Kanan. And then they bond together in this. What? What? It was. Depending on who you are, that was either the worst thing to ever happen or the best thing to ever happen. 
I'm on both sides, honestly. Let me know what you think in the comments of what Kanan did because, man, that was that was really out of character. Kanan was willing to kill his own son, so Kanan's heart is black than a motherfucker. I don't know when he start. I will say I understand that he started to grow feelings for Tariq because he's probably saw Tariq more as a son than his own son. And he even admits it. He's like, I killed that nigga. And he'll do it again because he didn't feel nothing for him. They weren't close, as fucked up as that sounds. So we get a scene with Ghost and, oh boy, Ghost, is is his son going to die? Jukebox got the gun on him. Jukebox is apparently even worse than Kanan. Kanan kills Jukebox. Bitch, you could have just kept your motherfucking mouth. Bitch, you just had to keep burning your mouth. Oh, Kanan. How could, how could you hate Kanan? <laughs> he makes off with the money and luckily Ghost and his son. Finally, Jukebox gets Kanan to lift the mask and tell the truth for once. It's not Kanan, the gangster that you always see. This is a whole different Kanan that you don't usually see. A honest, a more... This is a Kanan that you don't usually get to see. This is honest Kanan. No gangsterness, no, nah, and nah, all that shit. This is honest Kanan, and I liked it, but I know some of y'all won't. So let me know what you think in the comments about Kanan's decision to join up with Ghost, because that was that was really out of character. I won't lie, that was really out of character, but I liked it. Now the question is, I don't know where they go from here. He's got his son back. Obviously, Tasha is still doing stuff behind Ghost's back. So like that whole, you know. That whole Tasha is kind of, she's a pretty, she's a strong woman. She's not, Tasha's a strong woman. She's not going to wait for Ghost to make decisions. Ghost doesn't wait for her to make decisions, so she's not going to wait for him. In this episode, we get no fallback. We, we get no fallout from what happened in the courthouse in the last episode. But that's coming up in the next episode, so we'll see how that goes. But no fallout from the court case and all the lawyers and all of that. I will have to say this episode was one of the best and biggest, most impactful episodes that Power has done. Maybe since like season two's finale. That, 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 was, a, that was another huge, amazing episode. I'm going to give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. My name is Elon Rich. If you like this video, hit the like button, share on Facebook, share, 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 share out of this, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I just got to 92 subscribers, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty geek right now. My summer goal was only like 75, and then I upped it to 85 because I was like, I got past the 75, and the end of the year goal was 100. So, if I can reach my end of the year goal by the end of the summer, that's, huh, oh man, I gotta think of something special for y'all. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this with everybody. I'm Elon Rich, and I will see you on the next video. I won't say tomorrow because I've just been pumping these motherfuckers out lately. Just... Anything I want to put on YouTube, I'm just like, <laughs> but like something, something come out interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't fully know what that means. I'm, I'm just gonna end this right here. Now look at you man, walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you can just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go, baby.